So the Samsung Galaxy Tab A9 Plus, it gets Wi-Fi, it gets 5G network, also it gets 8GB RAM and a 128GB internal storage, all this at a price of 20,000 bucks. Is this worth your money? Let's take a look. So I recently purchased this tab in the ongoing sale at a super discounted price of about 18,000 rupees. Currently it's trending at a price of about 21 to 22,000 on Amazon and of course you will get it at slightly lesser prices whenever there are discounts. Let me just straight away get to the points which I really like about this tab. It gets a real cool 11 inch WUXG display. The display is pretty crisp and the colors are accurate. It gets a 90 hertz refresh rate which is very cool and doesn't feel outdated like the 60 hertz ones. It gets quad speakers for that surround sound whenever you're binge watching shows on Netflix or just watching any tutorial on YouTube. It gets 5G network so basically you have the fastest connection no matter where you go you're not tied down to the home Wi-Fi or your office Wi-Fi. It gets 8 GB RAM sufficient enough to multitask and also get a 128 GB storage good enough to store a decent amount of movies or your personal photos. It gets a type C port with a 15 watt fast charging and of course it comes with a 3.5 mm jack especially for those people who like to watch movies who like to watch TV shows plugged onto their headphones without having to worry about the Bluetooth running out on your headphones. All these features make this mid-range tablet a real worthy one but there are a few more features which this tab could have really used. But before we move on to that Let's take a quick look at the unboxing and the tech specs of the A9 Plus. Alright, so here's the Samsung Galaxy Tab A9 Plus 5G model. I specifically got the 5G model so that I could get seamless connectivity even when I'm not in any Wi-Fi range. So on the back, as you can see, it says the manufacture date is about April 2024 and the price it's given on the back is 3299. That's quite outrageous considering that the price which I bought this for on the Flipkart sale. Let's quickly open up the box and show you what are the contents inside. Before we take a look at the tab, here's a small box and if you open up the box, you get a Type-C to Type-C standard cable, charging cable and you get a quick start guide, a mini quick start which shows you some indications regarding the SIM card insertion. Also you get a SIM removal tool in the box right within it. Let's move on and take a look at the tab itself. So you get the tab in three different colors and I specifically ordered this in the silver color because I needed something lighter. Alright, so here is the tab, smart looking, sleek looking and of course this is quite well to hold in your hand and watch movies and binge watch on Netflix as well. The tab is pretty pretty thin as you can see, it's very thin compared to all the previous tabs which I used till now. So on the bottom you get a type C4 for charging. You get a microphone, you get dual speakers at the bottom and you also get a 3.5mm headphone jack. On the other side you get a SIM card tray wherein you can also insert the micro SD card. You have pogo pins at the bottom and on the other side you also get two speakers. So this is a quad speaker setup. On the top you get the power button and the volume rockers. At the back you have a 8 megapixel camera and the Samsung branding. So one cool thing about the app is that you can run apps in split screen mode. So just you need to hold on to one app and drag it to one side and it will open the app on the split screen aspect. So if you want to take a look at some of the Disney Hotstar movies, so as you can see, both the settings and the Disney Hotstar is running side by side and you can do two things or three things simultaneously. Also the drop down notification bar drops down wherever you point. If you drag it from the center, it comes down from the center and from the right, it comes to the right and from the left, it comes down from the left. That's also a very convenient thing to use. Watching Netflix on this tab is such a pleasurable experience. I mean, I have been using this tab for about a week now and watching movies on this is really good. The video quality, the display quality is really nice. Although it's just a full HD display or close to a full HD display, it looks kind of even better than what it's actually supposed to look. So watching Netflix is a really breeze and if you're someone who is looking for a tablet just for binge watching, just for watching movies and stuff like that, this tab will probably suit you the best. Coming to the specifications of this tab, it has got a CPU speed of 2.2 GHz and 1.8 GHz. It's got an octa-core processor with 11-inch display and a 1920 into 1200 WUXGA main display. It's got a 8 megapixel rear camera with autofocus and a front camera with a 5 megapixel. The recording resolution is full HD at 30 FPS. 
The specific tab which I bought has a 8 GB internal memory. You can also get it at lesser one. And the internal storage is about 128 GB of which only 103 GB is user available. You can add an external micro SD card of a storage of up to one terabyte. It's got 2G, 3G, 4G and 5G support. The USB version is USB 2.0 along with GPS, GLONASS, Beidou and Galileo. It's got the 3.5mm jack, no MHL so sadly you cannot connect it to any smart TV. It's got Wi-Fi and Wi-Fi Direct. Bluetooth version is about 5.1 and it doesn't support NFC. It's got sensors such as the accelerometer, gyro sensor, geomagnetic sensor, hall sensor and light sensor. The tablet weighs about less than 500 grams, close to 491 and the battery capacity is about 7000 mAh. So on one full charge, it should run you about 2 to 3 days. This tab supports and is compatible with most versions of the Galaxy Buds. This tab was officially launched on 23rd of October in 2023. So this mid-range tab is perfect for those people who are always plugged into streaming services such as Netflix, Hotstar, Prime Video or whatever you prefer. But I think this tab could have used a slightly better version of a processor and of course a 120Hz refresh rate also would have been a cherry on crop. Running heavy apps and games such as video editors and stuff may slow down tab a bit and the quality from both front and the rear camera of this tab is just about average and nothing really worth talking about. The build quality though is really excellent and gives you that fine premium feeling when you hold it in your hand. This tab doesn't get a S Pen support and also doesn't support a MHL link which means you cannot connect this to your TV or your laptop and just project the display. So a few features here and there are missing out but the overall features which you get within this tab I think makes it really worthy of its price and you're not going to regret once you buy this. So if you are interested in purchasing this tab for yourself, the link to purchase it is given in the description below. So just head down, click on the link and purchase it for yourself. Also, if you have any doubts or queries regarding this tab, you can always write that down in the comments and try to get back to you as soon as possible. I hope this video has helped you out and in case if it did, make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and smash that like button. Also, don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you get notified each time I upload a new video. Also, don't forget to follow me on my Facebook, Insta and the WhatsApp page. The links to those are also given in the description below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.